at the moment, uh, the largest war in the world is not in Ukraine. Uh, it's in Tigray. Uh, it's being waged um, the by the government of Ethiopia and its, uh, militia, its allied militias and also by the Eritrean army uh, against the people of Tigray. After uh, blocking Tigray for two years, after sieging the region for two years and denying the region from basic services such as telecom, electricity, banking, and completely collapsing the social and economic infrastructure of the region, when they thought the region is weak, they unleashed hundreds of thousands of infantry soldiers on all directions, 360 degree of the region, and also um, drones um, and Su-27s by air. Um, so imagine uh, when hundreds of thousands of soldiers are involved and when hundreds and hundreds, millions of people are being disp displaced at the moment. So the, the humanitarian uh, catastrophe is unimaginable. Uh, so, so that's exactly what's happening in Tigray uh, at the moment. That's what, that's that, that's what's happening in um, in the whole in in most parts of Tigray at the moment. And when uh, we hear that some some towns have been controlled by the Ethiopian government and by the Eritrean uh, government, and uh, given what they did when those forces controlled uh, the cities in Tigray about a year ago or or a, a year and a half ago so much uh, atrocities uh, was committed, um, sexual abuse, um, killing of young people, old people, women. Uh, so, so given what they did uh, at that time, when they are controlling cities at the moment, people are leaving their villages, their towns in, 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 in droves. Uh, the scene, the scene is, is extremely, extremely disappointing. It's heartbreaking. What we see in Tigray at the moment. Um, and unfortunately, the world has largely ignored this, this atrocities, uh, this carnage uh, in Tigray. Um, in Addis, uh, there, there is a lot of misinformation, there is a lot of propaganda. They organized a rally uh, pretty much in support of the war. And even though they were saying, you know, it was, you know, hands of uh, Ethiopia, uh, the West should not intervene in Ethiopia. Actually, the West didn't do enough uh, uh, as if uh, Ethiopian lives, Tigrayan lives, African lives do not matter. So it, it was the opposite. Uh, it was the opposite, actually, because some Europeans, some Americans spoke about, about being concerned. They didn't do enough, but they were concerned. Just for this, the Ethiopian government, uh, the Ethiopian ruling party organized a big rally uh, in Addis and the rest of the country. Uh, it was obviously, it was staged. Uh, there were even rumors that the subsidies actually uh, uh, prepared warning for people who, who do not take part in, in, the, in, the, in the rallies. Um, so, so Addis, in my opinion, is in bubble, uh, even though the economy is in shambles at the moment. Uh, it's it, it's in, in some sort of a bubble. Uh, so it's... Uh, so, so that's what's happening in, 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 uh, in Addis. In, in South Africa, we, we hear about the negotiations uh, happening at the moment. Uh, uh, the African Union is sort of the, the leader of this negotiation. Unfortunately, the African Union has, uh, has failed um, Africans, has failed Ethiopians, has failed to grant in the last two years instead of uh, uh, you know, telling the truth and, and condemning the war and trying to genuinely bring the parties uh, to peace. Uh, at the beginning, if you remember, the African Union said this is Ethiopia's internal matter and, and, and no one should, should, should intervene. And then when they started their, their peace process, uh, it, was, it was, you know, they, they never, they never uh, asked withdrawal of Eritrean troops. They never uh, boldly uh, asked the, the, the provision of public, uh, basic services to the people of Tigray. So, so for me, the African Union so far has been actually like a gatekeeper so that the, Afri the European Union or, or other countries um, you know, couldn't do anything because the African Union was there to sort of lead uh, any peace process. 
Um, fortunately, uh, in recent uh, weeks, uh, with you know pressure from the sort of from the U.S. and from the European Union, probably the African Union showed slightly more commitment uh, in terms of uh, you know organizing these negotiations. But still, still, it's not enough in my opinion because another member country of African Union, Eritrea, is it has crossed the bo uh, its border into Ethiopia and is controlling towns. And I am surprised why the African Union does not condone that. Uh, so when I see these things, I still have concerns, but it's, 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 it's sort of, it's uh, the, the right, it's uh, steps in the right direction, at least. Um, uh, so, so, but then given what, given the propaganda, uh, uh, you know, the Twitter propaganda that I sort of tried to, to mention earlier, uh, where the Ethiopian government was to sort of create the, this image that uh, it's winning the war. Uh, so sort of this sort of undermines uh, the negotiations in South Africa. So this makes me doubt whether the Ethiopian government is, is, is genuinely uh, committed to, uh, to solve the problem uh, uh, peacefully. Uh, and in terms of uh, what uh, General Warada uh, talked about the plan by the Ethiopian uh, government to install uh, leadership from elsewhere in the country to, to Tigray is, 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 if it's true, it's extremely, extremely disappointing. The federal system was meant uh, to sort of share power between regions and, and the federal government. It was not meant for someone sitting in Addis and sending uh, a leader to, to the people of Tigray. So the people of Tigray have fought for sort of self-determination, for, 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 for determining their own uh, fate, uh, administrating themselves uh, since the, the first Wayane, uh, Adama Wayane, since uh, the 1940s. Uh, so for me, it's, it's extremely surprising that uh, if it's true, uh, what General Tadis uh, uh, mentioned, uh, uh, that there is a plan to sort of send uh, a leader, an, an, an administrator uh, of Tigray from Addis, this is, this, is, this is laughable for me, and it's not going to be accepted by the people of Tigray. And planning this while you are doing a negotiation also is not consistent. So it, it sort of sends to me that they are sort of they don't seem committed for the for, for the for the for the peace uh, which is happening in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Sagai.